we're going to start with outcomes. So the possible results of an experiment, if I stand up here and toss a number cube, AKA a die, what are the possible results of the experiment? What could you get? One, two, three, four, five, six. If I'm doing an experiment with cards, I have 52 outcomes, right? An event is the outcome or the collection of outcomes. So they might say, what's, uh, we're going to talk a lot about probability. They'll say probability of a four. It will be written like that. Probability of a four. Okay, the event is rolling a die. Okay, the favorable outcome would be the four. Okay. So the probability is the likelihood that the favorable event will occur. We always write these right now. You will get to writing them as decimals as well. So what's the probability you roll a four? One out of six, right? There's one favorable outcome on that die out of six total. Okay. Um, what would be the probability of pulling a club out of a deck of cards? Well, the favorable outcomes are the clubs. How many uh, clubs are in a deck of cards? Sam? 13. Okay. So the probability of a club, how many clubs are in a deck of cards, Sam? Hmm? Stop talking. How many clubs, Kobe? Get out from your video games. There are 13 out of 52 clubs. Is that reduced? Yes, it does. It's one fourth. So your probability of pulling a club is one out of four. Okay? Theoretical probability is what you know in your mind to be true. Okay, so probability of pulling a four is one out of six, right? That's what should statistically happen, correct? If the directions say find the probability of an event occurring, you do theoretical probability. If it says what is the experimental probability of this happening, for example, I like to plant a garden in the summer. I have to say, I'm really, really good at planting weeds. Okay? I'm not very good at planting edamame. Okay? So, let's say 3 out of 25 of my plants sprout. What's the experimental probability that the next seed that I plant will sprout? What would that be? What would it be, Christian? Um, three, out of 20. three out of 25, right? Oh. Did I say 25? Yeah, three out of 25. Now, what's the experimental probability that my weeds are going to grow? Jared? 23 out of 25. Uh, well, no, I'm I'm a hundred percent on my weeds, so it's it's a hundred percent, okay? Because I when I plant my garden, the last thing that we're going to talk about is odds in favor and odds against. So if it says find the odds of, um, let's say, rolling, what are the odds in favor of rolling a three? Odds in favor means you take the number of favorable outcomes. How many are favorable? One. One out of the unfavorable. Well, what don't we want? There's five of them, right? We don't want one, two, four, five, or six. So that's five. What you basically do is just take however many are favorable and subtract them out of how many you have. The odds against something happening you put the unfavorable over the favorable. Okay, so what's the, what are the odds against rolling a three? 
Well, there's one three, right? I always put the favorable on the bottom. So there'd be one and then five are unfavorable. So it would be five to one. The probability of an event occurring is the number of favorable over the number of possible outcomes. Example one says, suppose you roll a number cube, what's the probability that you roll an odd number? So what I would do is put probability of an odd, and it's asking for probability. So how many favorable outcomes are there that are odd on a number cube? Jackson, out of how many total, Jackson? And then reduce it. What, are, what do you get, Jackson? One half. Okay, so number one, it wants a pro, the probability of rolling a number less than five. How many numbers on the number cube are less than five? How many, Seth? Out of four out of six, Seth, does that reduce? To what? Two thirds. So the probability that you roll a number less than five is two to three. Number two, it wants to know what's the probability that you roll a multiple of three. So I write probability of a multiple of three. How many numbers on a number cube are multiples of three, Camden? Two. two. They are three and six, right? Out of how many? And what does that reduce to? Uh, one, third. one third. The experimental probability of an event is the number of successes over the number of trials. So when I was talking about um, three out of 25 of my edamame grow, it would be three successes out of 25 trials. The next one I choose the probability that to plant, the probability should be the same based on my experiment. You plant 32 seeds of a certain flower and 18 of them sprout. Find the what? Experimental. You've got to notice the words that they're writing in there. Experimental probability that the next flower seed planted will sprout. Okay, so we want to know the probability that it will sprout. The next one will sprout. Based on my experiment, how many of them sprouted? How many sprouted, Meredith? Out of? Yep. Does that reduce? What does it reduce to? What does it reduce to, Jacob? So what does it reduce to? Nine over 16. Nine over 16. Now, because it's an experiment like baseball, your batting average, your free throw percents, we usually change this to a decimal as well. So when you take nine divided by 16, you get uh, 0 0.5. Six, two, five. That's how they get batting averages. That's how they get field goal percentages. That's how they get uh, free throw percentages. Okay? Got it? Suppose you choo randomly choose a number between 1 and 16. What are the odds in favor of choosing a prime number? Well, it's favorable over unfavorable. What are the prime numbers from 1 to 16? Is 1 prime? No. 1 is neither prime nor composite. Is 2 prime? Yes. Is 3 prime? No. Is 4 prime? No. 5? Yes. 6? No. 7? Yes. 8? No. 9? No. 10? No. 11? Yes. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How many favorable outcomes do we have here? How many favorable outcomes are there? Maria? Six. Over how many are unfavorable? Basically, you just take those six out of how many there, there are total. How many numbers are there from one to 16? 
What? Ten. Ten. Uh, well, there's 16, right? And 16 minus 6 is 10. So it's 6 to 10, which reduces to 3 to 5. So the odds in favor of choosing a prime number are 3 to 5. The next one says, what are the odds against? choosing a prime number. Odds against choosing a prime number. What are all the favorable outcomes? How many? I'm gonna, it's unfavorable over favorable. I always put the favorable ones on the bottom first. How many favorable ones are there? Six. How many unfavorable are there? Ten. Ten. So that reduces to five to three. So the odds against choosing a prime number are five to three. And doesn't that make sense? It should be higher because there are less odds or primes in there. Right. 